Hey, how's it going you guys? My name is Castro, and today in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to duplicate any vehicle on GTA 5 Online off the patch 1.11. But before we start, if you guys could drop a like on the video, that'd be fantastic. But anyway guys, let's move on with today's video. So to start off with, you have to have a full garage on GTA 5 Online, and this does work in any garage on the online as well. So from here you want to get into any vehicle of your choice which you would like to duplicate. I will be duping the 9F, which is the Audi R8 Online. So first of all, you want to get into the vehicle, you want to duplicate and then drive out of your garage now from here all you want to do is go onto the street drive around and find your nearest car now if you're in the 400k apartment there will be one directly outside inside someone else's garage so from here you just want to get out of the vehicle and then steal it now once you've stolen the vehicle guys you may get a wanted level so just call Lester like I did and remove it and from there you want to drive back into a garage now it will say your garage is full because you have to have 10 vehicles in your garage for this to work so all you want to do is simply replace the vehicle which you just drove out of your garage so I would be replacing the 9 f now from there you just want to walk back outside of your garage and you'll see that across the road is your vehicle so my 9f has got a tracker on and so will your guys and that's how you know the glitch has worked so far so all you want to do is get into your vehicle and then revert back into your garage now if you guys do remember the invisible glitch all you want to do is drive back into your carriage it will say it's full now this is the most vital part of the glitch guys you must click a and b at exactly the same time on ps3 that is x and circle and then you will go invisible from here you want to drive all the way down the road until your car spawns again and as you see my car spawned you want to head back into your garage and wait outside of your garage exactly where i did from there to get out of your vehicle and then go back into your garage now as you'll see he's just walking in normally but it will think that you put your 9f back in so it will be asking you to replace a vehicle so you want to replace any random vehicle in your garage that you don't mind losing and then from there you want to back out of your garage and then get back outside and then from here you can get back into your vehicle which you drove outside of your garage get into that and then you can go back inside your garage and replace the vehicle that you first put in for your 9f or whatever vehicle you did so as you see in the spot the 9f originally was i will be replacing that vehicle and now as you see guys i do have two vehicles which are exactly the same so now i have a duplicated 9f cabrio but unfortunately guys neither of them will have insurance on so you will need to put them on and you cannot sell either vehicle but anyway, there you have it guys. That is all for today's video. So I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on it. It's fantastic and it helps me out a lot. Also leave a comment and tell me what you thought. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel as I upload all the latest GTA 5 content. But anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.